Want to bet that there's a place in this universe that's so terrible you'd rather not know it? This place is scary. It's gigantic, empty, lonely, and a mystery to science. Let's go on a fictional journey through the structures of the universe together. We start on Earth, our familiar home planet. Our spaceship lifts off and leaves the solar system, passing familiar planets, such as Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. At the end of the heliosphere, we enter the interstellar medium, leaving the solar system far behind us. Our journey takes us further into the impressive expanse of our galaxy, the Milky Way. Here we discover stars in unimaginable numbers, some of which have illustrious names such as Alpha Centauri or Sirius. We cross star-studded nebulae, encounter mysterious black holes, and witness the birth of stars. Far beyond our galaxy, we recognize further clusters of stars. We see the Andromeda Galaxy, the small and large Magellanic clouds, and other galaxies. Further and further away, we would recognize a gigantic cluster of galaxies known as the Virgo Galaxy Cluster. Here, hundreds of galaxies are connected by gravity. We observe how galaxies influence each other, attract, repel, and sometimes merge in a fascinating cosmic dance. The Virgo Galaxy Cluster is home to over 1,300 galaxies and is an impressive example of the size and diversity of structures in the universe. Our journey continues to a supercluster of galaxies, the Virgo Cluster, of which our Milky Way is itself only a small part of the Shapley Supercluster. This enormous network of galaxy clusters is connected by invisible threads of dark matter. There are hundreds of galaxy clusters in the Shapley Supercluster, and it consists of several million galaxies. We recognize structures, the filaments, by which galaxies and galaxy clusters orient themselves. And then we fly further and further and recognize a mysterious area of the universe. A nothingness of such enormous dimensions that it takes our breath away. It is as if we are looking into the maw of the universe, where a moment ago, light and the dance of colorful galaxies delighted our eyes. A menacing blackness now looms. Astronomers refer to this mysterious structure as the dipole repeller. This empty space in space mysteriously influences the movement of galaxies and very probably contributes to the accelerated expansion of the universe. The exact nature and function of this region have not yet been sufficiently researched. However, researchers suspect that the dipole repeller acts like an invisible cosmic guide and makes a decisive contribution to the stability of the universe. The most mysterious structure in the universe. The idea of the dipole repeller was born in 2017 when a group of astronomers led by Yehuda Hoffman proposed that this structure could be one of the main activators of the universe. Based on data from the two-mass Redshift Survey and the Cosmic Flows 3 catalog, cosmologists have spent years exploring the foundations of the structure of our known universe. These two studies have spent years analyzing the distribution and motions of galaxies in the so-called cosmic stream pattern. The two-mass Redshift Survey has recorded the spectral light shift of millions of galaxies. With the help of the light shift, astronomers can determine the distance and speed of galaxies in space. Galaxies that are moving away from us increasingly shift into the red color spectrum. Galaxies moving towards us become bluish. The Cosmic Flows 3 catalog deals with the exploration and distribution of galaxies in our cosmic neighborhood. Data from this catalog precisely describe the movement of galaxies. This has resulted in patterns of our universe that show flows and interactions between massive structures, such as the Great Attractor and the Dipole Repeller. The Great Attractor lies in the direction of the center of the so-called Hydra Centaurus supercluster. The Great Attractor is presumably a huge and massive region in the universe that also influences the movement of galaxies in its vicinity. While the gravity of the attractor attracts galaxies, the dipole repeller repels them. You could also say that the attractor and repeller act like a cosmic vortex. The interaction of the two leads to complex patterns of movements of galaxies in the universe as we know it. We now know that everything in the universe consists of flow and constant movement. The exact role of the attractor and repeller are still a mystery to researchers, and above all, Questions remain as to whether these two are the largest structures or whether there are even larger units. If you look at these maps of the structure of the universe, you will find another incredible fact. 
The structures resemble an organic entity. The shapes are reminiscent of a brain or even the little bones and the snail in the ear. Images like these raise questions such as whether our universe is perhaps something like a gigantic living being after all. Are we possibly just something in the cosmos, like the mitochondria in the cells of our bodies? It will probably be centuries or millennia before we have found all the answers to these questions. So far, attractors and repellers are pure concepts of cosmology. Nobody has seen these structures yet, but it's very likely that they are there and scientists paint a picture of the dipole repeller that is so terrifying that you would never want to go there, even if you had a spaceship with a warp drive. Gloomy, lonely, and mysterious. The dipole repeller is a truly terrifying and dark region of the universe. In this mysterious zone, galaxies seem to be repelled by an invisible and terrible force. But what is this force? What has the enormous ability to push entire galaxy superclusters away from itself, and why? Everything in the universe seems to have a mysterious purpose, and the idea of an eerie and almost empty realm in the universe that is constantly pushing galaxies into the infinite expanse presents us with unsolvable puzzles. Anyone who observes the dance of the galaxies recognizes that almost everything in the universe is searching for community, but the dipole repeller is a mysterious exception. What other purpose does this eerie eclipse serve? What is inside it, and is there a more detailed reason why this region is pushing galaxies away from itself? Similar to the no less mysterious voids, something seems to be going on in this space that is beyond our understanding. Our understanding and our physical quantities are reaching an impenetrable limit. Enormous voids without another dimension? The dipole repeller is still a purely cosmological concept, but the voids have long been a proven and observed fact. Voids are also gigantic regions in the universe in which the distribution of galaxies and matter is vanishingly small compared to their average density. However, researchers suspect that voids only appear to be empty. There are only a few galaxies in them. These are so lonely that researchers who live in them probably thought for a long time that they were the only galaxy in a vast void. The distances between the matter and the great voids are unimaginable. Measurements have shown that these regions have a low density and the large voids are probably direct consequences of the Big Bang. Voids were first discovered in the 1970s by astronomers observing the distribution of galaxies in the universe. They noticed regions in which galaxies were completely absent or only very thinly distributed. The best known of these is the Botus Void, named after the constellation of the same name, Botus. Researchers now know of many other voids, the largest of which are supervoids that extend over hundreds of millions of light years. Voids could be a key to understanding and decoding dark energy and are currently being studied intensively. Previous research has revealed such strange things about the voids that researchers have come up with the craziest ideas. Voids could therefore also be something like scar tissue in the cosmic web. Researchers have calculated that parallel universes may have collided at these points. This would mean that we live in a multiverse after all, or that voids are gateways to other dimensions. There are even more intriguing theories suggesting that voids may not be empty at all. Some scientists speculate that advanced civilizations may be at work in these black spots in the sky, capable of eclipsing entire galaxies in order to harness their energy for their own purposes. The ideas and concepts behind this hypothesis go back to the Russian researcher Nikolai Kardashev, who suggested in the 1940s that superintelligences evolving over the centuries might one day be able to build massive power plants around galaxies, making them disappear to our eyes. Of course, these theories are pure speculation, but they show very well how these huge structures are pushing our science to its limits. Astronomers and cosmologists are urgently searching for answers using every available source. What role do dark matter and dark energy play? It sounds incredible, and yet it's true. The entire cosmological models we have shared with you are based on the assumption of two forces that no one has really seen or measured. Although dark matter and dark energy are invisible to direct perception, their existence has been confirmed by multiple observations. 
dark matter exerts a gravitational force that influences the visible matter in galaxies and galaxy clusters. In fact, dark matter is thought to make up the majority of matter in the universe and forms the basic structure for the formation of galaxies and cosmic filaments. The gravitational attraction of dark matter pulls galaxies and galaxy clusters together and allows the formation of the giant structures we have presented to you. Dark energy is another mysterious phenomenon that acts as a kind of counterforce in the cosmos. Among other things, it causes the accelerated expansion of the universe and causes galaxies to move away from each other on large cosmic scales. We encounter this accelerated expansion and dark energy in the dipole repellers and also in the voids. These currents in the cosmos are influenced by both the attraction of dark matter and the repulsion of dark energy. The idea that dark energy accelerates the expansion of the universe and thus moves galaxies away from it in certain regions is even a basic assumption to explain the dipole repeller. The voids, the huge empty regions in the universe, are also the result of the complex interaction between dark matter and dark energy. The gravitational attraction of dark matter leads to the formation of the large voids, while the expansive forces of dark energy help voids to expand and become increasingly empty. Despite their invisibility, these mysterious forces are of crucial importance for the development and fate of the universe. Whoever one day succeeds in deciphering dark matter and dark energy will also succeed in piecing together the cosmic puzzle, and perhaps one day, we will be able to explain where all the splendor and beauty of the universe comes from and what forces are behind this fantastic creation. What would you say if we showed you a galaxy that looks like a penguin or one that spits at its neighbors? The most unusual galaxies in the universe are incredible, mysterious, beautiful, or just plain weird. It's fascinating what shapes and colors the universe forms and what bizarre behaviors galaxies can exhibit in cosmic interactions. We go now on a ramble through the universe and illuminate the 10 strangest and most unusual galaxies of all time. Penguin or Dolphin Galaxies look like spirals or disks, right? Wrong. The interacting spiral galaxy NGC 2936 looks like a penguin or a dolphin. At least 326 million light years from us, this galaxy is absolutely fascinating and beautiful. Some argue that it looks like a dolphin, while others say it looks more like a penguin holding an egg. The shape varies slightly depending on the angle of view and is definitely unique. The core of the spiral galaxy can be seen as the eye of the dolphin. What you see on the left and what looks like the nose of a dolphin is actually a huge star-forming region. All the new stars and the surrounding gas and dust nebulae are shining brightly, making this galaxy really impressive. The shape comes about because the spiral galaxy NGC 2936 interacts with the more elliptical-shaped galaxy NGC 2937, and together they form this galactic beauty. The pair of galaxies is together with ARP 142 and a mystery to science. The two galaxies do not unite, but constantly pull on each other. As a result of these interactions, disruptions occur in the gas, dust, and stellar structures that result in the shape of a dolphin or a penguin. In a billion years, the two cosmic squabblers will have finished their galactic discussion, then they will transform into another galaxy and the dolphin shape will disappear. Rubin's Galaxy Astronomer Vera Rubin discovered a galaxy that raises many questions. An unusually large spiral galaxy, this formation shows other features such as dusty arms, gorgeous pink signatures of ionized hydrogen, bright blue stars, and a very flat shape. Ruby's galaxy, or UGC 2885, was formed either by gas accretion, minor galaxy mergers, or both. Observations with the Hubble Space Telescope found evidence of gradual accretion of gas, which would be unusual for this size. The galaxy's immediate surroundings lack larger structures, and already Vera Rubin suspected that her galaxy was able to form such sprawling spiral arms because there is simply nothing around it to prevent it from doing so. Rubin's galaxy is truly enormous and unique. The Hidden Galaxy 
The most mysterious galaxy in our near vicinity is IC 342, also known as the Hidden Galaxy. Probably there is not so much unusual about this galaxy in detail, we just can't see it. IC 342 is considered the most difficult galaxy to observe in the universe. It lies directly near the equator of the Milky Way disk. Here, the sky is very dense with cosmic gas, bright stars, and lots of dust, making it difficult to see this spiral galaxy hidden behind it. The galaxy is said to be only 10.7 million light years from Earth, which is very close by cosmic standards. Along with Andromeda and the Triangulum Galaxy, IC 342 is one of our closest and probably most beautiful neighbors. Hubble was able to take a few colorful images of the galaxy, and they show that it's actively producing stars and would possibly be one of the brightest galaxies in the sky if it were visible from our vantage point. The Space Candy Galaxy What does a galaxy have to look like to get the name Space Candy from scientists? Beautiful. As in, the most beautiful, and that's exactly what applies to a galaxy about 100 million light years away from us. NGC 2336 is big, beautiful, and blue. Images from the Hubble telescope clearly show the beauty and sheer magnificence of this barred spiral galaxy, which spans about 200,000 light years. Astronomers were sure that if there were a beauty contest of galaxies, it would have won. Space Candy is not the largest galaxy ever discovered, but it has lovely spiral arms that are rich in young and bright stars. The bright blue light comes from a large amount of very young and large stars. In the center, however, the Space Candy glows reddish, a color given off by older stars. The galactic beauty was discovered already in 1876 by the German astronomer Wilhelm Tempel. Galaxy Within a Galaxy in 1950, astronomer Arthur Hogue stumbled upon a strange-looking galaxy. He studied it and concluded that it was either a unique galaxy or a planetary nebula. About 8 billion stars cavorted in the formation, which would correspond to a tiny galaxy. For example, there are several hundred billion stars in our Milky Way. This cosmic wonder has puzzled astronomers and scientists for decades. The center of this galaxy appears as a sphere or cluster of red-colored older stars, while the surrounding ring is dominated mainly by bright blue young stars. Named after its discoverer, the Hogue object is an odd sight. It's likely that the ring galaxy is a result of a previously unknown interaction structure between two galaxies or a galactic merger. It's possible that a violent collision with a neighboring galaxy caused this type of hole in the disk. Hogue himself suggested that the ring-shaped appearance might be an optical illusion, but images from the Hubble Space Telescope have refuted this. The Strange Neighbor It's no longer a secret. Galaxies form groups, nurseries, communities of two. They feed off each other, they unite, and they can form neighborhoods, much like we do for the most part. There are neighbors next to whom you prefer to live, and others can give you a reason to move. If you happen to run into Centaurus A in the galactic community, you're probably better off looking the other way. This galaxy has a supermassive active black hole right at its center that is about 55 million times more massive than our Sun. Not only does this black hole have tremendous gravitational pull and gobble up enormous amounts of matter, the cosmic giant also forms toxic jets in the process that extend thousands of light years into space. These plasma jets are extremely bright, making the galaxy visible as early as 1826 with what was then a comparatively poor telescope. Until today, this rowdy neighbor is the center of intensive research, and it's astonishing that the giant has gathered some small dwarf galaxies around him, which follow him like little servants. If you want to catch a glimpse of Centaurus A, you have to look south in the constellation of Centaurus. This constellation is especially visible in the southern hemisphere of the Earth and is located near the Southern Cross, one of the most famous constellations of the southern sky. On clear nights and away from heavy light pollution, you can try to observe the galaxy with a good telescope. Space Vermin There's nothing that doesn't exist in space, and so here we have a candidate that is called a Vermin Galaxy. 
At first, there is not so much strange or remarkable about the galaxy HD 107146. And actually, it's quite a normal galaxy, and at a distance of only 89 light years, it's quite close to our Milky Way system. The galaxy is known for its unusual pairing with a star very similar to our Sun, and researchers would like to study this star more closely. But they can't because the light information from the galaxy and the star merge. So researchers cannot separate the two, and one of the most interesting stars that would exist in our environment must remain unexplored. This annoyance brought the actually harmless galaxy the epithet Space Vermin. I, however, think that this galaxy looks much rather like a gigantic dandelion. But what do you think? The Galactic Tadpole In this galaxy, researchers see the form of a tadpole. The original shape of the strange galaxy was a bar stretching out from the center and surrounded by a spiral. The giant tadpole was formed by a hit-and-run collision with another galaxy. The two just touched, and then each went its way, the passing galaxy pulling out a kind of tail from the other that stretches over 500,000 light-years. Thus, the tail of the tadpole alone is ten times longer than the Milky Way. The rest of its shape may have been created by the collision of two disk galaxies pulled onto a much smaller galaxy. What we recognize as the head of the tadpole is an extremely clumped together cluster of stars that resulted from the mass collision event. It's not uncommon in space for multiple galaxies to meet in close quarters at certain spots, to ram past each other, to overlap, or to merge. Through such processes, the strangest shapes are formed, and we enjoy these bizarrely beautiful galactic formations. Images we see now show what it may have looked like 420 million years ago. This is truly mind-blowing. Little Bear The Little Bear Galaxy gets its name from its location in the constellation Ursa Major, also known as the Great Bear. About 50 to 60 million light-years away, this structure is said to be the prototype of a galaxy. In fact, the Little Bear is one of the few star-forming galaxies in the universe and it's very metal-poor. Low metallicity means it's not very bright and therefore harder to study. Researchers previously assumed that all early galaxies that appeared shortly after the Big Bang were such low-luminosity, low-metallicity entities as Little Bear. The fact that the Little Bear comes along somewhat weakly could have, however, still another reason. Because the neighbor steals this galaxy's gas. This shows that there is audacity also on galactic levels, and maybe we have to adjust our picture about cosmic interactions a little bit. NGC 3359 is a giant galaxy and seems to suck all the gas from its neighbor to form even more stars. This galactic cannibalism is unique so far and is being watched with excitement by researchers. Cosmic Yeti What can a galaxy and the snowman Yeti have in common? Well, they are both legends, hard to spot, and most of the time, humans only catch a glimpse of them. Another thing they have in common is the uncertainty of whether they exist at all. The Cosmic Yeti Galaxy was discovered by a team of astronomers who directed the Atacama Large Millimeter Telescope into a distant region of the universe. This revealed that this galaxy existed only one billion years after the Big Bang and was really amazing because it's very large with a mass of about 300 billion solar masses. It's really amazing that this galaxy existed at a time when the universe was still very young. Nevertheless, so far there is no clear evidence that the object SPT 0418-47 is really a galaxy. Sometimes it appears like this, then there are hints that it is something else, or that it does not exist at all, just like the Snowman Yeti. If you love impressive videos about space and science, then subscribe to our channel.